and those family members said that while obviously nothing is going to make this right, they are happy with the way things went in court today. It, it began with with a phone call, and then the government saying, you know, your father passed away, but here's what we think happened. Tuesday, it ended for serial killer Rita Mays with seven consecutive life sentences plus 20 years for taking the lives of seven veterans with insulin at the Louis A. Johnson VA Medical Center. They were there so that she could provide them aid and assistance and comfort, and instead, she coldly and callously murdered them. Mays sat in an orange jumpsuit in court as Judge Thomas Clee called her a monster of the worst kind. The monster that no one sees coming. The judge will recommend Mays goes to the U.S. Bureau of Prisons Federal Medical Center in Carswell, Texas, which has a mental health unit. Federal investigators debunked a mercy killing theory raised by the defense. Um, mercy or that she was trying to provide comfort measures, but as you've heard, uh, that's just absurd. Mays offered no answers, only a teary apology. William Edge says he didn't want to waste emotions and words on Mays, but instead talks about his father, Robert. He still knew where he was from, knew every blackberry patch, knew everything in the, in the little little speck of, of, of rosebud. Um, so he was, that was his last request, can somebody take me to rosebud. Others had harsh words for Mays. Melody Proctor, daughter of Felix McDermott, called Mays a coward. And yet another told Mays, may God forgive you because I never will. William Edge told me the big word today was relief, but there will still always be sadness. Rita Mays, in the meantime, will spend the rest of her days in jail. Reporting live in Clarksburg for 12 News, I'm Amanda Mueller.